What's up, rogues? This is the White Jackal here, coming at you with another skin video. Today we're going to talk about the green fluorescence skin, and can I just say it? It looks absolutely fantastic. This is one of the best, if not the best, skins in my opinion. Look at this thing, it's absolutely gorgeous. They did such a good job. It takes up the entire gun, but the skin isn't overwhelming by any means. It has so much detail and different layers to it that it doesn't look repetitive in any way. And it looks nice. I actually like it a lot. And I can't wait to check it out on the other ones. Let's go to the Spitfire. And like we were probably assuming, it looks awesome. It looks really good. I love it. I love it so much. And if you can, I highly recommend that you pick this thing up because they don't really have that many good secondary skins. So anytime you can grab one, I always recommend it. I know green's not a very common color in Rogue Company, but it seems like it's becoming more of a theme so hopefully we're gonna get some good stuff a little bit later on for some of the rogues now for Dallas's revolver I did not know how it was gonna look on this but I think they did it tastefully the handle just has that little bit of a grip wrap around the circle starting right there then they have so much detail on the barrel and everything I think they did a wonderful job with how they laid it out on this gun but yeah this is by far one of the best full wraps for a gun I've seen so yet at least they did an awesome job good job Rogue company thank you very much now for the little a3 salvo and it looks good it looks nice it's not half bad at all it has just enough detail like always and yeah I'm very happy with this skin so far let's see if there's anything it doesn't look good on I'm not even gonna lie I thought the p12k was actually gonna look a little bit off with this skin doesn't look terrible I guess it it does have a little bit of weirdness with the double arch I feel like they lost a little bit of detail but I don't know if they could have laid it out any differently uh, the top view looks pretty good though I like it all around it looks really nice good quality skin very fluorescent we'll see how it looks in game if it's too bright or not and last but not least we do have the warrant and yeah I love it. The warrant always looks good with these type of skins, and this is definitely no exception. It looks absolutely awesome. Beautiful skin. Beautiful. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of it, if it's worth picking up in your opinion, or if it's even uh, that good. I think it's amazing, but let me know what your thoughts are. So, let's get into some gameplay and check this bad boy out. Starting off with the Spitfire and Lancer's hands. All right. It looks good though. It actually looks really nice. It is a little bright, but it's not distracting in any way. It's not like that uh, ooze camo or whatever it was that was just pretty much glowing in your hand. That thing was hard to shoot with in my opinion. But yeah, this one's actually really nice though. I actually didn't really notice it too much. It is there. Everyone will see it. It's not really noticeable from across the map, I don't believe. Like, It's pretty nice though. It looks good, especially in game. Alright, on to the next one. That's the Executioner, and also looks awesome, especially with this Vi skin. Look at that combo. Just looks clean. Ooh, I like the detail on this gun. Man. But yeah, I don't think this is a bad bargain at all. Oh, he's sticking out a little too much. I think this is worth getting absolutely worth getting I know it is seven dollars which is a little bit pricey but I think it's still a good deal and now for the revolver who missed both those shots but it's cool we'll get it we're gonna get it done Ooh. all right toss that axe back to the pistol it looks like, uh oh he wasn't ready for that close combat. But yeah, this pistol looks good. I like the revolver. Oh, not bad at all. I think it looks best on the revolver, if I'm being honest. Man, that's a nice skin. That is absolutely fantastic. Alright, let's see where this last guy is. And... Ah, oh, he's AFK. Oh well, that was still a good round. So, on to the next one. That's A3 Salvo. Scorch's main gun playing a little strike out with it and it looks good it's a pretty clean gun camo I think this I think it looks best on Scorch's gun if I'm being honest I hope they bring out a green skin for her 
Because as of right now, nothing really works with that camo on her, but the pistol itself looks awesome. Now, last but not least, the warrant. It looks nice on him. I hope that they bring out a good green skin for uh, Sigrid, because she seems to have some pretty fun colors to her. I don't know if they'll do it for Fixer, but I can see it looking really good on her. Right, not bad, though. I like how it looks aimed down sight. Very nice. Very, very good gun camo. They did well with this one. Alright, there we go. Cleaning up the bodies. Not bad at all. Alright, last but not least, the P12K. But yeah, not half bad though. This camel looks really good, especially aimed on sights. I've never really been a fan of the P12K, but this skin is making me rethink it. I like this skin. I like it in-game, especially on the P12K. I didn't like it too much on when it was just chilling there. But in the match, that overview is actually pretty nice. It looks good. Alright, so I gave this gun camo a 9 out of 10. I wish I could have gave it 10, but I think $7 is a little pricey. But at the same time, it looks absolutely fantastic. I wouldn't change a thing about it. They did a wonderful job, and I do not regret buying this skin for $7. If you like it, I highly recommend you pick it up. Like and subscribe to keep more content. I'll catch you in the next one.